God is very much interested in sinners rather than righteous people. That's what we read in the book of Luke chapter 15 verses 4 through 7. The Bible says like this, What a man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, and he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, Jesus says, I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repents, more than over ninety-nine just persons which need no repentance. You see, look at the heart of God. Heart of God is for the sinners. God love sinners, but not sin. God love the sinners. God wants sinners. God wants losers. God wants failures. God loves them. God wants them. God needs them. Why? To give them rest. That's what we read in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. God says that. Jesus said like this, Come unto me, all ye labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's a promise. It's a great offer with a promise. God says, Come unto me, all that labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. That's the heart of God. My brother, my sister, my friend, God is not interested in the 99 who are righteous persons, but He is interested in the one who is last. He is interested in the one sinner who is last, which is me and you, which is us. That is the heart of God. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Look at the love of God. Look at the heart of God. Look what God is looking for. He is looking for broken-hearted. He is looking for losers. He is looking for failures. He is looking for those people who are rejected by the world, by others. That is the heart of God. That's what we read in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. It says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believes in him shall not perish but should have everlasting life. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. We have such a loving God. Jesus is a loving God. He loves us beyond words, beyond imagination, beyond measure. That is what we see here. He is not interested in the 99 who are righteous persons. He is inter interested in the one sinner who is lost. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. God loves you. God needs you. God wants you. God is waiting for you. For what? To give you rest. To give you peace. To give you joy. To give you hope. To touch and transform your life. That's what we read in the book of Revelation 3 verse 20. It says that I stand at the door and knock. Jesus is telling, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. I will sup with him and he will sup with me. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up and open your heart for Jesus so that he will dine with you and you will dine with him. And he will touch and transform your life. Wipe away all your tears. Wipe away all your tears. Remove all your sorrows and burdens. Lift up all your burdens. And break all the evil yokes and bondages and set you free. 
my brother my sister my friend jesus is looking for you jesus is looking for me jesus is looking for us he is more interested in sinners rather than righteous people my brother my sister my friend wake up and turn to jesus god loves you jesus loves you i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah